Welcome to the introduction of the Triumph Cloud workspace. When you open Triumph Cloud, you will see this workspace. The floating toolbar is the place where you will find the most important tools. As you can see, it can be moved around freely. There is also a toolbar at the top with other functions. With this little arrow, you can move it to the bottom. The sidebar shows you the properties of pictures and pages. This can also be switched over to the other side. I'm going to switch that back. When selecting the pen tool, of course I can draw an object. If I select the object, I can delete it by pressing the bin icon. Create a miscellaneous object and select it. You can change the properties, such as filling it or filling the outline in a different color. By turning the strong aspect off, you can change the shape and size as you please. I will delete that again. To add a picture, click on the Picture tab where you can see a lot of files. Just drag them to your workplace. If you select a picture, you can resize it. By clicking on the Pages tab, you can get an overview of the pages in your document. By clicking on the page icons, you can quickly move between different pages. By selecting and dragging them, you can change the order of the pages. Triumph Cloud also offers a full screen mode. To access this, click on the icon. You will see the floating toolbar appear, and you can navigate around the document. Add a new page and draw on it. Go back to the other pages. To close the full screen mode, just click on this X. You can change the languages in Triumph Cloud by clicking on the flag icon. There are a lot of languages available. I'm switching to German. And here you can see that the software has been translated for you. I'm going to switch back to English. Going to a new page, just draw something. Sometimes it's handy to get more space, so you can use the zoom. And then carry on drawing. Or you can add that extra space for things you'd like to show later. I'm switching back to 100%. Now you can quickly scroll to the side and show the bird. Going to a new page now. By clicking on lines, you can add lines to the document. Clicking here, you can change the properties of the lines. There are different lines available. Here are the lines for early learners. I'm going to remove the lines again. We also offer a grid with different properties. I'm taking away the grid again. If you click here, you can change the background of your document. I'm changing it back white again. Navigation between pages is very easy, and there are various ways of doing it. You can click on the dog ears to move back or forward. 
or you have the arrows here, or down here. So no matter what your position is on the board, you can easily navigate, even in full screen mode. I'm switching back to full screen. It is easy to navigate. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.